Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about subtraction of decimals. Example, Haki is a kind and helpful student. He purchased 76 pesos and 75 centavos worth of food items for the school canteen and gave these snacks to Roxiane. If Haki's father gave him 150 pesos, how much change did he get from the cashier? In this problem, we have to identify first our given. We have 76 pesos and 75 centavos and then the 150 pesos. We will subtract 76 pesos and 75 centavos from the 150 pesos. So let's now go to subtraction of these numbers. So let's have first 150 pesos. We can put decimal point and two zeros here. We call this one as our minuend. We also have 76 pesos and 75 centavos. We call this number as our subtrahen. We are now ready to subtract, but before that, we need to make sure that the decimal points are aligned or else we will arrive at the wrong answer. So make sure that these are aligned. We can now subtract. We will subtract 5 from 0. We cannot do that since it's 0. Since we cannot subtract from the 0, we will consider borrowing from the 5. This becomes 4. This becomes 10, becomes 9, and becomes 9. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. Copy the decimal point. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. 4 minus 7, you cannot do that. So we will borrow from the 1. We'll make this one 0. And this will become 14. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. Then 0, no need to bring it down because it has no value at all. So our answer is 73 pesos and 25 centavos and we call this one as our difference. So it means Haki will receive 73 pesos and 25 centavos from the cashier. Another example. The cost of a table is 2,450 pesos and 75 centavos. The cost of a chair is 120 pesos and 50 centavos, less than the cost of the table. How much is one chair? Are we given this problem? Are the following? 2,450 pesos and 75 centavos. We also have um, 120 pesos and 50 centavos. In this problem, we are looking for the price of the chair. All we need to do is to subtract 120 pesos and 50 centavos from 2,450 pesos and 75 centavos to get the price of one chair. Now let's start. We can put here 2,450 pesos and 75 centavos and then 120 pesos and 50 centavos. We have to make sure that the decimal points are aligned. Now let's start. 5 minus 0 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Copy the decimal point. 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 2 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. And bring down 2. We have... 2,330 pesos and 25 centavos as the price of one share. Another example, Johnny plans to make a rest house made of bamboos. He needs to have 103 and 5 tenths meters of bamboo to complete the rest house. If he has only 5 and 725 thousands meters of bamboo now, how many more meters does he need? Our given are the following. We have 103 
and 5 tenths meters as well as 5 and 725 thousandths meters. For this problem, we will just subtract 5 and 725 thousandths meters from 103 and 5 tenths meters to get the number of meters of bamboo Johnny needs to complete the rest house. Let's subtract now 103 and 5 tenths minus 5 and 725 thousandths. For this, we can write zeros in the empty spaces so that it's easier for us to solve. Now, we will subtract 0 minus 5 cannot be, so we'll borrow from the 0. We cannot also do that because 0 is equivalent to nothing. Then we'll move to 5. So 5 becomes 4. Then these zeros will change into this 0 will become 10 and this one will become 9. Now we can subtract 10 minus 5 is equal to 5, 9 minus 2 is equal to 7, 4 minus 7 is impossible so we have to borrow again from the 3, this becomes 2, and this becomes 14. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7, don't forget to copy the decimal point. Next, 2 minus 5 cannot be, since we cannot subtract 5 from 2 we will borrow from 1 since we cannot borrow from 0 the 1 will become 0 and this 0 will become 10 we will borrow 1 from this 10 and give it to 2 this becomes 9 and this becomes 12 we're good to go 12 minus 5 is equal to 7 and bring down what's left there 9 so our answer is 97 and 775 thousands meter Johnny needs 97 and 775 thousands meters of bamboo to complete his rest house example Miss Ong weighs 62 and 45 hundredths kilograms. Miss Hanai is 2 and 3 tenths kilograms heavier than Miss Ong. And Miss Celia is 7 and 9 tenths kilograms lighter than Miss Hanai. What are the weights of Miss Celia and Miss Hanai? The given are the following 62 and 45 hundreds kilograms that's the weight of Miss Ong Miss Hanai is two and three tenths kilograms heavier than Miss Ong while Miss Celia is seven and nine tenths kilograms lighter than Miss Hanai our problem is quite complicated but if we are going to draw a diagram so that our students or you students can visualize the problem i think it is much better let us make a diagram for this problem for miss ong we'll have miss ong it says there that she weighs 62 and 45 hundreds while miss hanai is two and three tenths heavier so it means we have to copy the box of Miss Ong, and then we will put another box that has two and three tenths inside. Two and three tenths inside to show that Miss Hanai is really heavier compared to Miss Ong. Next, we'll have Miss Celia here. It says there that she is seven and nine tenths lighter than Miss Hanai. So we have to get first the value or the weight of Miss Hanai, then later we will subtract it by seven and nine tenths. Okay, so let's add these two boxes so that we will know the weight of Miss Hanai. 
Let's do that. 62 and 45 hundredths plus 2 and 3 tenths. Make sure that our decimal points are aligned. And then we may write zeros on the empty spaces so it's easy for us to solve. We're ready to add. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Copy the decimal point. Then 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then bring down 6. It means Miss Hanai weighs 64 and 75 hundredths. So Miss Celia is 7 and 9 tenths lighter. So we will subtract 7 and 9 tenths from 64 and 75 hundredths. We'll do that now. So 64 and 75 subtracted by 7 and 9 tenths. Make sure that the decimal points are aligned. We can also put 0 on the empty space so that's easier for us to solve. 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. 7 minus 9 cannot be. We will borrow from the 4 here. This becomes 3. And then this 7 will become 17. 17 minus 9 is equal to 8. Again, copy the decimal point. And then 3 minus 7 cannot be. We will borrow from the 6. This becomes 5 and the 3 will become 13. 13 minus 7 is equal to 6 and bring down 5. It means Miss Celia is 56 and 85 hundreds kilograms. So we have the answer. Miss Hanai is... 64 and 75 hundreds kilograms while Miss Celia is 56 and 85 hundreds kilograms. Okay, there you go. That's our final answer. Let us have some exercises. The first one is 3 and 496 thousands minus 3 and one tenth. So let's have that. Three and four hundred ninety-six thousandths minus three and one tenth. So be sure that you align the decimal points. Then we can write the empty spaces with zeros. So it's easy for us to solve. We can already subtract. Six minus zero is six. Nine minus zero is nine. 4 minus 1 is 3, copy the decimal point, and then 3 minus 3 is 0. So our answer is 396 thousandths. Another example, we have here 56 and 980 thousandths subtracted by 8 and 4,512 ten thousandths. So let's have that. 56 and 980 thousand subtracted by 8 and 4,512 ten thousands. Okay, let's make sure that the decimal points are aligned and the empty spaces were being filled out with zero for easy computation. We are ready to solve. Zero minus two cannot be. So we'll borrow from 8 because we cannot have it in other 0. So we'll have 8 will become 7, 0 will become 9, and this 0 will become 10. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8, 9 minus 1 is equal to 8, 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 4 is 5, copy the decimal point, and then 6 minus 8 cannot be. We will borrow from 5. That's the, the 5 will become 4. And 6 will become 16. 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. And bring down 4. So our final answer is 
48 and 5,288 thousands. We have another example, 102 minus 5 and 9 hundredths. If you notice, we have a whole number, that's 102. Remember that the decimal point is located at the back of the 2. Okay? We will minus this by 5 and 9 hundredths. We can write 0 in the empty spaces, so that's easier for us to solve. And make sure that we align our decimal point. And we are ready to subtract. 0 minus 9 cannot be. We cannot also borrow from another 0. We have to borrow from the 2 here. This will become 1. And this 0 will become 9. And this 1 will become 10. 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. 9 minus 0 is equal to 9. Don't forget to write or copy the decimal point. 1 minus 5 cannot be, so we have to borrow. We cannot borrow from 0, so we have to borrow from 1. The 1 will become 0, and then this 0 will become 10. And we will borrow from that 10 to make this one 11, and this 10 will become 9. 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 and bring down 9. So our answer is 96 and 91 hundredths. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!